Hey guys, what are we gonna talk about? Hey, you saw the picture. We're gonna do the actual review of the uh, Bark River Knives North Country EDC2 that was sent to me by Zach, one of the subscribers to the channel. So you guys know what to do. Turn on the volume because here comes some music. <laughs> Mike here. Just wanted to throw it out there so that I, future Mike always forgets. If you haven't checked out the merch store, there's a lot of stuff in there. I got sweatshirts, I got t-shirts, I got coffee cups. There's a link in the description. If you want to support the channel, all the sales go to the merch store and providing the stuff, but then it also, I get a portion of the, of the take of it. So like I said, merch store, sweatshirts, t-shirts, coffee cups, they're all really nice. Now back to future Mike so he can tell you about a knife. Well, thanks for interrupting, past Mike. Um, so this was this knife was sent to me by a subscriber. It is an incredibly nice knife. Uh, it is a fixed blade, so it's it's not you know I don't do a lot of fixed blades on the channel because you know you've already seen all my fixed blades. But the nice thing about this this encompasses a lot of things. As a matter of fact, it encompasses everything that I like when I say things about a knife. So let's just go ahead and do the description. It is red frost dragon scale with a cherry red liner, full convex grind, S45BN fixed blade with a very nice drop point blade. It comes down to nothing behind the edge. I'll show you guys that. This knife is a cutting beast. I have cut up everything that has come in in cardboard. Cut it up with this knife, um, S45BN. Uh, I'm, I'm still the, you know, the, the jury is out, but so far I seem to really like it. It takes a nice, crisp, aggressive edge. So I only sharpened this to about 600 grit. Um, and it, there's not much of an edge bevel, uh, basically, but you wind up with this <laughs> pretty much get a micro bevel. Uh, I'm not going to go up. I'm not going to be like a virtual virtual voice, the Japanese guy, and, and do the entire edge all the way up to a zero. I'm not going to do that because the knife is just too attractive for that. So this is a first production run. So let's go ahead and we're going to turn this around. We'll get down on the counter. I got to play with lighting because it is really overcast and dark this part the, today. It's, oh, about 2.30 in the afternoon. So uh, the lighting is a little weird, as you guys know, when the lighting is not great because of the weather, we have some problems. But We'll give it our best shot. So go ahead. I'll meet you guys down at the counter and we'll take a good look at this thing. All right, let's go ahead and get in here and take a good look at this. So we'll get some specs out of the way. So this is the North Country EDC2 in S45VN. The version I have is, like I said, the um, Red Frost Dragon Scale with Cherry Red Liners and mosaic pins. And like I said, this is a full convex, somebody on a motorcycle is trying to get themselves killed. Full convex grind. Uh, so let's go ahead and look at some specs. So what you're looking at is uh, overall length of 9.27. So you can see here it is past the end of the mat. Uh, well, you can't, but I can see that it's past the nine inch mark on that. Uh, it is, like I said, S45VN, overall length, uh, blade length of 4.24 inches with a cutting edge of 4.15 inches. Um, blade thickness is 4. Point uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> blade thickness is 0.156, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to look at that with the microm or with the, uh, the calipers here in a second. And then something that is, we're going to talk about this right now. The dimensions on this knife. So they have it listed as blade height of 1.37 inches. I disagree with that. You have length, you have thickness, you have width. If you say that it is the blade height, you are wrong. The blade height would be the distance that this blade stands up off the ground, also thickness. Because when you lay a knife down, 
That's how tall it is right there. Sorry, just my take on it. If you're saying that it's blade height, I personally think you're wrong. It's blade width. So with a width of 1.7 or 1.37 inches, like I said, it is a fixed blade. So, I mean, there's not much else to talk about this. We're going to look at the weight. Let's go ahead and bring the scale in and we'll check the weight on this. So they say it is 8.8 .8 ounces. Go ahead and make sure that's all zeroed out and see. And somebody did mention, yeah, I didn't get that fully centered in the, in the thing, but hey, who cares really? So you are looking at eight, no, seven and three quarter ounces. So I would imagine that this, the general weight that they had was a different scale material. So let's go ahead and look at that and see what that is in grams. That is 220 grams. Now, I mean, that's not light, but it also is a very well contoured, thick handled knife. Now, when I first got this, I was a little worried that these scales would be slippery, which they are, because you can see they're very highly polished. The thing is, the way they're contoured and everything, even if it gets wet, you still have a reliable grip on it. It's really comfortable in hand, and it is just gorgeous. Like I said, this full convex grind is insane when it comes to cutting things, even though, I mean, it's, it's still about standard blade thickness for most knives. You can see that it comes down so thin behind the edge, it just almost disappears. It just kind of just becomes one. Now, I would almost call my sharpening bevel a micro bevel because I have sharpened it. Uh, it's been used a lot to cut down cardboard. The S45VN seems to be really wear resistant. As you can see, I've cut a lot of cardboard. I'm not seeing any real scratches on this. A lot of cardboard, a lot. I did cut a bunch of wood and it seems to hold up really well against scratches and things like that. The edge holds really well. And like I said, it takes a really aggressive, aggressive edge. Um, I did this one to 600 grit. And the other thing is this is really, from what I can see, really corrosion resistant. I have had it exposed to things that I normally would expect. Any steel that's gonna rust, I would expect to see it rust uh, with some of the things that I've done with it. I've cut so I've cut things, I've put salt water on it, just testing it. Like I said, this is a first production run, so there's not very many reviews of this out there, but guys, this thing is just, I mean, it's, it's just surely awesome. Truly, truly awesome, awesome knife. So hang on just a second. I'm gonna go grab something for a size comparison. Size comparison wise, just so you can get a feel for it. That is a Spider Co. Endura and another knife that came in fairly large. I just did a, a first impressions video and we're just gonna use it because it's gorgeous, is the Spartan Harsey Folder. And then another knife that a lot of you guys will be used to is the Benchmade 940. So let's go ahead and I'll get those calipers out and we're gonna check the blade thickness on it. All right, well, that was just a moment in time for you guys. That was a little bit for me because as I was grabbing the calipers, I had someone ring my doorbell. So we are looking at, uh, what did I say it was? Point one, point, or, uh, point one five six. Eh, one six, that's close. That's good enough for government work. We're clear up with the spine. I'm using the very tips of it. 0.159, I mean, we're really close on that. And blade stock thicknesses vary depending on how much surface finish and things were done on it. Um, last thing to talk about is this incredibly nice sheath that all Bark Rivers come with. And I was really impressed with this sheath. It's nothing fancy. It's not a molded sheath specifically for this knife. It's nothing that is, you know, unidirectional, which is the nice thing about this is an outdoor knife. If I'm right-handed or if I'm left-handed, it really doesn't matter. It sits in there the same. As you can see, I've carried it and worn it. I will say that it is. this is not a great knife for scout carry because of the way it sits um, in the small of your back. Now, on your side, I'm sure it would be great to carry it scout carry. I preferred when I carried it to have it just standard through the top loop of this really well-made sheath. As you can see, it's been in and out of the sheath a lot. I've already nicked up the mouth of the sheath a couple times. Um, super, super well-made, solid, solid sheath. 
And if you want to strap it to something, you've got these, not only are these rivets, these are rivets, but they're also grommets. And Bark River always uses really good leather for their sheaths. I, I've never had a complaint about how well made a Bark River knife was. So yeah, guys, this thing is great. Like I said, that grind just comes down to nothing. Let's go ahead, I've got the calibers here. Let's see if we can get a behind the edge thickness. I'm gonna have to try and make sure I'm in frame and be able to see what I'm doing here. So right behind the edge, you're looking at 0 0.016. Really thin, really slicey. It think this thing is a scalpel. Um, I say I cut so this thing cuts cardboard like a dream, cuts wood. Really good outdoor knife. I would say that if I was going to carry this for hunting and things where I might get bloody, I may want to have that be my cardo where I'd have better grip. But I mean, when you really want something just aesthetically, that looks, well, it looks like koi. It looks like koi fish. So let's go ahead and turn this around, do some final thoughts on this. So a couple final little talking points about this. This version, I did not see it anywhere. So this came to me from Knives Ship Free. It was purchased by a subscriber named Zach. Uh, thank you once again, Zach. Amazing, amazing gift. I found these online, uh, not this version, but I found them, they're around $300. 200, between $250 and $300 was what I was seeing. Knives Ship Free, there was one other place that had them. Um, and so, you know, you can't you can't complain about that when you've got a really really solid solid knife and it's just such a good design even with it being a little bit thicker so these handles that's all i'm saying these handles are nice and thick and they've got that coke bottle contouring that bark river does so across the back you're looking at almost an inch 0 0.90 0 0.903 across the back, almost an inch across the back. And for you guys that use millimeters so that you know how thick that handle is, um, that is uh, 23, 23 millimeters. And if you want to know what it is in a fraction, that's 29, 30 seconds in inches. So no, I mean, you couldn't go wrong. This would be a great, great pack knife, field knife, things like that out in the field. And it's just, it's gorgeous. So Bark River Knives has historically made some of the best outdoor knives, in my opinion. And once again, knocking it out of the park with this one. So yeah, big shout out to, uh, to Zach for getting that for me. Um, there are some affiliate links in the, in, the, uh, in the description below. I don't know what I'm going to put down there. So if you guys are interested, I'm trying to get DLT. Um, I know that DLT does carry Bark River Knives. I'm trying to get that as one of my affiliates. I don't think it's going to happen yet. Blade HQ, things like that. Um, and keep an eye out on new content. So guys, that's about it. Great, great, great knife. Um, if you like the videos, give them a thumbs up. If you don't like them, give them a thumbs down. But please try to tell me why. Especially if you're a member and you don't like one of the videos, please, I need that feedback because you as the paying members are truly how I judge a good metric of what videos are, are going to be good because you guys are paying for content. So uh, that being said, guys, if you want to support the channel, there is a join tab below. Um, you can join a monthly subscription and get access to exclusive videos, giveaways, early access to all the videos when they go up before I put them up as a premiere. And if you just want to say, hey, good job on a specific video, you can give me applause, which is also down below, which is just like Super Chat in a live feed, except it's for pre-recorded videos. So with that being said, guys, I love you all. Take care of yourselves. Keep it clean in the comments. And I'll see you in the next video.